Good morning, everybody. This is Diggs. It's another beautiful day out here in the Pacific Northwest. And today we're going to be talking about a variety of subjects. We're going to be talking about desynthesis. We're going to be talking about weapon enhancement materials for 11 to 20. The primary goal of this video is to talk about, though, how you can get materials that are going to bottleneck you for the future. Also, since we are talking about desynthesis a little bit, I am also going to touch on how to get your blacksmith hammers this way. And we're going to talk about releasing familiars in order to get gummies. So uh, go ahead, strap in. Let's go ahead and get this done. If you're new to my channel, I know there's a lot of you Nino Kuni viewers that are new. Please hit the subscribe button. It would really help me out. And let's go ahead and get started. So I put together a little bit of a crude presentation from you guys for you guys from screenshots. Uh, this particular method uh, comes from... Uh, Diablo from the Light Guild. Uh, it is on our Onyx Cancer server. Uh, he is also another content creator, and I will put his Twitch link down below. Go ahead and drop him a follow. He's a really great guy. Uh, if you've been in my streams, you've probably seen him. Uh, but a lot of these weapon enhancement materials, you are going to run into an initial bottleneck with them. And that's going to happen probably on your first way up with your first couple elemental weapons. After that, you're going to start notice you're building a kind of excess amount of these materials. So this is really to kind of help you get over the initial hurdle. Now, when you're looking at the desynthesis here, you'll notice on the left, I have a second awakening bow, which is three star. And on the right, I have a third awakening bow, which is three star. Now you'll notice on the third awakening level, uh, I am guaranteed rewards. And on the second awakening level, I am not guaranteed the rewards. So a good note here, if you are struggling or if you are maybe continuing to get to the point in the game, this is going to be mostly for people that are post level 60 uh, or potentially you need like a specific element of some type. Uh, you are going to get to the point where you are harvesting your three star weapons uh, for either hammers to help progress your materials or to potentially even get some of these materials themselves, whether it's going to be the light enhancing material like you see in this picture or otherwise so just keep this in mind as we are going through the rest of these steps because these are going to be some things you experience probably on your first time going up maybe not if you're free to play you'll probably have a lot of these but if you're someone who's a maybe moderate spender or investing some money into the game you will definitely be running into this now similarly with this you can obtain these for metals personally i wouldn't really go into this exchange shop because i really like my metals so whether it's purification or honor metals i wouldn't want to spend them on the elemental materials uh and again if you want to go to even the second rarity they do have the second rarity in there another thing you could even do uh, is you could farm the uh card boxes which do have a chance to drop all of them. They also drop some skills and some accessory enhancement materials. I don't think this is worth it. Uh, this is this would be like a desperate last attempt. Uh, if it were me, I would not chase this. Uh, but this is just another way. Uh, also, if you are into the collection system, uh, you can awaken the three-star weapons to four-star. Uh, and you will get, for each weapon on your alt, you will get one of these items for awakening. So, uh, if you are someone who's using your alts, using your three-star weapons on your alts, and you're like, you know, I want these equipment tickets eventually anyway, I'm going to awaken them to five-star to get them. Uh, you know, because you are going to have a large excess of kind of awakening materials at a certain point. So you may choose to awaken some of these uh, just for the reward. So uh, keep all of that in mind. The next bottleneck I want to talk about is one that I'm encountering right now. And this is one of those bottlenecks that is absolutely killing me. And this is the upgrade stone bottleneck. Now, the upgrade stones can be either the elemental, they can be the rainbow ones. You get a lot of them uh, when you are doing the main story quest. Uh, so I've done the main story quest on all of my alts at this point. And it gets to a point where, you know, you need 15 of these suckers, you need 30 of these suckers, you need, you know, however many you need to upgrade your gear, and you're just hard walled on these. Again, a lot of people talking how Territe is the bottleneck. Territe is not the bottleneck. Uh, gold isn't even the bottleneck. Right now, these materials are the bottleneck. And if you are someone who, again, is free to play or taking things a little slower, 
you might not run into this because these are from daily login rewards uh, and these are things that you kind of build in your account slowly over time but if you're someone who's pushing level 60 trying to push your CP right now uh, get as high of a level as you can uh, you're definitely going to start running into this uh, very soon uh, now one thing you can do uh, particularly to get ahead of this is buy this pack twice daily you get one free you can buy it for 20,000 gold this is one of the most important packs in the game to buy and I didn't realize how important it was I skipped this because 20,000 gold you think about how much you have to farm gold how much you have to chase these you know gold items you're like yeah I can skip it today I'm not really needing this but then you will hard hit a wall and you will regret not buying this every single day uh, so make sure you grab this the other thing you can do is you can level your alts here. I do have an example of DXM um, Gainé's uh, chart here. You can also see daily login, but these are extremely gated by time. Uh, they are all gated by slowly building. Uh, there does say you can obtain them through desynthesis, but I haven't been able to find a desynthesis recipe that reliably gives them to me. So if any of you guys know that, please share down below. Uh, but really, it's just slow and steady. Uh, using the Lucky Pot, for those of you who have seen my Lucky Pot guide, you can farm these from the Lucky Pot as well. Uh, but again, it's only from the fourth tier of drops and the fifth tier of drops. And a lot of those tiers, you're not hitting unless you are intentionally farming either the amethyst metals or the diamond metals. So you're not hitting that as much as you might think you are. So uh, lots to consider here. And finally, I did want to talk about gummies because there have been some people talking about how, you know, maybe you want to release your familiars to get eggs and you want to maybe guarantee getting eggs, right? Because more hatches means more potential four stars. Uh, and for me, I want more gummies. Like that's what I want. I want to increase the strength of my familiars. So there are a couple breakpoints with familiars that you do want to release them. Uh, so this would apply to people who already have maybe an awakening level 10 two star and they're getting a lot of extras by either collecting the familiars through the butterflies around the area. Uh, you can get them to awakening level four uh, and then you release them and you're guaranteed at least one gummy. You could get two and you're guaranteed an egg. You're also guaranteed some hourglasses, which are some good uh, Lucky Pot materials. Uh, but that is kind of the process. You can't get uh, any gummies from one stars. So forget about the one stars completely. Uh, three stars have a really nice break even point uh, at awakening level seven, where you can release them, where they will give you eight gummies each. I don't think a lot of people are at that point yet where they have a bunch of three stars just laying around. However, slowly over time, we will accrue them. They will build up. Uh, so this is that long game, right? As we are thinking about moving into this game for months, for years, right? Uh, planning out your three stars, building them up slowly over the course of, you know, even if you did like 10 th three stars, right? Let's say there were 10 three stars in the game. You're building them up slowly. That's 80 gummies potentially for a individual pet in your roster over the course of a couple months. So it's really powerful don't do like me and don't merge your three star pets for exp don't do that that was a bad idea that was a bad idea and i regret that and you twitched you clipped it on twitch chat and you were freaking right okay anyway everybody please remember to subscribe i am a new nino kuni content creator and i would love to get all of you guys coming back if you have any ideas for videos put them down in the comment section down below and i hope you guys all have a great rest of your day